Hey YouTube, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use all these different functions here in the piano roll. Alright, so um, we're going to actually start with a new a new uh, piano roll, that way I don't mess up my other one. Okay, so basically, you know, you have, you just add this in there. Oops. Okay, so starting from the front, you have your little menu bar, which will show you your file. You can import MIDI file, export, copy MIDI clip, clipboard, export that score sheet. You can go to edit, you can cut, copy, paste, duplicate, shift, transpose the sounds up and down. You can do a whole octave or just one note at a time. Um, change color. You know, you can do anything. Mute, unmute. Under tools, you have the riff machine, you have quick legato, you can do qu uh, quick quantize, which basically, if you're playing on a MIDI keyboard, your notes are not perfect every time. They're going to be a little shifted over, so this would help keep it in track. Um, you have quantize at start times, you have quantize, which is, you know, not a quick one, but you highlight the parts that you want to line up and click that it'll tell you how much you have a uh, quick chop which you can quickly chop that up right there or you can use the regular chop function and you can tell how much you want it chopped so you can chop it just a little bit or a lot so basically I'm going to show you how this sounds so if I click accept it's Actually, that's not going to work because this sound is too loud. So, so you have that, or I can chop it up even more by clicking chop and then change the time. So like that, except, all right, so that's how you do that right there all right and then you know there's other functions in here too helpers and zoom zoom in zoom out quick zoom zoom far target channel which is basically the channel you want to see kick clap hi-hat snare etc auto smoothing center and detached um, if you don't know what any of those do just you know um, play around with it yourself also, you can reach the tools right here faster, just to go there. All right, and this is for your snap to grid, which you know you want to set it at none, or a quarter beat, or per bar, per line. So, like if I set it at a sixteenth step, my uh, grid changes there. So I'm gonna set it at line, so that it's just four beats per per block. This is the pencil. This allows you to just set them down. This is the paint bar, which allows you to keep going all the way through. This is the delete. I can delete this, but I don't want to. And then this is to mute it. So basically when you mute it, you hover over it and it'll turn gray. So like if, if I press play, you're not gonna hear anything. There's nothing there. And then you can unmute it by clicking it also mute unmute and then you have your cut which you can cut it you know separately if you don't want to quantize or quick chop the whole thing you can just cut it separately um, then there's also the select bar I can click select and copy it and then click up here and Oh, I didn't copy it. See? I can add add that there. And I can move them around. I can just keep adding more and more as I want. And then uh, there's zoom. So if I want to zoom, I can zoom that way. And then there's playback. If I want to know what this sounds like from here or here, it doesn't matter. You can play back whatever parts that you have in here. So to show you more about playback, we're going to click here. 
and then I'm gonna click playback so if I want to know what each sound sounds like so that's how you use all the functions here you can press play right here also you know but oh, I have it muted but yeah so yep so if this video has helped you in any way um, please subscribe and like this video also if you haven't already please visit my blog at flstudio123.blogspot.com thanks bye